Orm is related to Starfire and has many names. The Philosopher's Stone, the Elixir of Life, White Powder Gold, Mana, the Food of the Gods, Ghost Gold, and the Alchemist Key. Orm is an acronym for Orbitally Rearranged Monatomic Elements. The phrase was coined by David Hudson as Orm is the Hebrew word for the Tree of Life. It all began with a farmer, a cotton farmer, a third generation cotton farmer just outside Phoenix called David Hudson. He's your average American farmer. He wasn't a physicist, he wasn't a scientist, he was nothing. He certainly wasn't an alchemist. He was destined to become all of them. Well, what they discovered was that, that it was reading all of these zero weights, below zero, but they thought, well, what about the pan? That should weigh something. So they tipped the material out and put the pan back and it suddenly weighed more without the material in it than it did when it was in it. This stuff was not only levitating, it was carrying the pan with it. So they discovered that this stuff would levitate, they discovered it would disappear, they didn't quite know why or where it went to, and they knew that it was important for, for energy. They knew that if it was a superconductor, it could attract energy, it could store energy, and it could distribute energy. The, the, the old stories of the powder and the Ark of the Covenant began to, to ring bells here about the, the, this potential that they had the ability with the use of this material to store and distribute enormous quantities of energy. So it's no wonder they will levitate and, and whatever, you know, there's nothing to them, but cooling will make them heavy. There are eight known monatomic elements. These eight transition group elements can, in a monatomic, super-deformed, high-spin and low-energy state, lose their chemical reactivity and metallic nature, thereby resulting in the state of superconductivity, a resonant condition complete with Meissner magnetic fields and Cooper pairs, which are electrons that have changed into photons. It is said that because these metals remain stable in a monatomic form, they can aid levitation. There are zero-point energy field applications due to the superconductivity, which David Hudson describes as liquid light flowing at the speed of sound. It was said that this was the food of the light body. They said, we all have bodies, but we don't just have physical bodies, we have light bodies. And just as we feed our physical bodies, they said, we have to feed our light bodies so that they will be nurtured and grow in, in the same way. They have to be as fulfilled as the physical body. And they call the light body the car. Well, it's interesting because scientists in recent times have actually called this material the light of life because it resonates with DNA on the same frequency. It's a light wave. We find lots of references to Mufkas. Um, this relief here, this picture, uh, this drawing was actually done by the, the, the uh, Russian scholar Emmanuel Velikovsky. And he drew this up simply to give us an image of, of, of this relief at Karnak, at the Temple of Karnak. That sh this shows the treasures of, of the Pharaoh Tutmosis, the um, third. Mufkat in e Egyptian law was always portrayed as a cone shape. Now these things sit there in the gold section um, and it says underneath these are gold but we call them bread. The Alexandrians wrote of them and said they were called the Great White Brotherhood because they were absolutely obsessed with a mysterious white powder. And they made some interesting comments. They said that they call it the Paradise Stone and it has unique qualities in as much as that it can weigh far more than its own original quantity of gold. But even a feather can tip the scales against it. So it can be a lot heavier than the gold it came from, or it can be lighter than a feather. This, this stuff has the ability to change its weight very, very dramatically. David Hudson connected Orm with the Hebrew manna, which literally means, what is it? This phrase is found repeated over and over again in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. The historical and psychological implications include Orm as a part of the Melchizedek priesthood 
and the metallurgical foundry at Cormoran, where the Essenes were located. I will go more into this subject and Starfire when I do the book vlogs for the Mystique trilogy. They were fed simply orally with these materials, with uh, monatomic elements, these powders, regularly and irregularly, just to test the reaction. Well, the results were, in their words, staggering. Sean Adam, he wrote, what we are seeing here is really quite amazing. The tests show it to be highly effective. The effect is immediate and cumulative. What they do here is, is to work on brainwave patterns and they try to synchronize uh, these things and they found that this material could do it. The theory and the logic behind it is that the better balancing between left and right brain produces, and these are their words, a greater intelligence, enhanced creativity, improved mind-body coordination, more agility and less stress. Well, okay, that makes sense. If we're operating as we should be, that's what we should have. But we're, none of us really operating as we should be. We're operating with all of this left brain uh, thing going and not too much of the right. Well, here are the charts here. These are just average charts. There are hundreds and hundreds of these. They took everybody's brainwave scans as they were, they were going along. Now, the top chart sh shows a, a normal starting base where, in effect, and this would be any one of us at any moment in time, the brainwaves coming off the left side were far outweighing those, the red ones, on the, the right-hand side of the brain. The effects, they say, is immediate and cumulative. At the bottom is the first immediate effect. What happens is that the left has now contracted back to meet the right, and they both, and the right's grown just a little bit, but they've absolutely synchronized. The left and the right brain of this person, and this is the immediate effect, has now begun. And then, they say, it's cumulative. Because what then happens is that it all grows to where the blue one was at the beginning. Quite extraordinary. Our research clearly shows that the left-right brain imbalances predominate in many mental behavioral dysfunctions, such as dyslexia and ADHD. It is our professional opinion that the monatomic products would be of tremendous benefit in any of these conditions. There seems to be some debate over whether it is safe to ingest ORM as a means to repair DNA, to enhancing health and psychic power. If you don't know what a substance is or where it came from, best not consume it. The good news is that ORM's precious elements naturally occur in herbs, fruits and numerous vegetables. Grapes have a very high content of rhodium and iridium more than the equivalent amount of virtually any other fruit or food. So eat well, live well, and let your soul evolve in its own good time.